Hi, I'm Dr. Jesse Veenstra from Henry Ford Health System, Department of Dermatology located in Detroit, Michigan, USA. I'm one of the senior authors of the review article entitled A Clinical and Biologic Review of Keratoacanthoma. We performed this review because keratoacanthoma, or KA, remains controversial regarding its classification, epidemiology, diagnosis, prognosis, and management. Historically, KAs have been considered a variant of cutaneous squamous cell carcinoma, or SCC. However, their predisposition for spontaneous regression has led many to categorize KAs as a benign lesion with distinct pathophysiology than SCC. The clinical and histopathological similarities between KA and SCC, particularly the well-differentiated variant of SCC, have made definitive diagnosis between the two difficult or impossible in many cases. The ambiguity between entities has led to the general recommendation for surgical excision of KA to ensure a potentially malignant SCC is not left untreated. This current standard creates unnecessary surgical morbidity and financial strain for patients, especially the at-risk elderly population. There have been no reports of death from a definitive KA to date, while SCC has an approximate mortality rate of 1.5%. This review was performed after evaluating over 150 publications in the literature focused on KA and SCC, with special attention to clinical, histological, genetic, and immunological features. Ultimately, we found that the balance of current evidence supports KA as a benign and distinct lesion from SCC. However, further biomarkers are needed to readily distinguish one from another. This is important because reliably differentiating these lesions would shift management strategies for KAs toward less invasive treatment modalities, prevent unnecessary surgical morbidity, and likely reduce associated healthcare costs. Thank you.